here comes the handshake between Trim Chris and Bob Belmont, originally a native of White Plains, New York, now bowling out of Dunedin, Florida. Here he is, 215 pounds southpaw. very nonchalantly walks away from that power strike. Well, let's, see, let's see if Tim Chris can get it going. Once again, I said slight edge for the right-handers. They out average the lefties on the championship pair by nine pins, and we basically pick the championship pair or TV pair at random just for audience and camera availability. So no favoritism showing. So uh, off to an even match after a frame. The 12 hours of Sebring, the great tests of the great cars, all the great names that won it here too. Fungio, Ernie, Foyt, Andretti, Shelby, Phil Hill. Come on, get up. Leaving a 10 pin. He has a uh, wireless mic. Sometimes they'll make comments, and sometimes they won't. Now it's uh, to the right of center for the 10. Okay. Notice how carefully he places himself on the right lane, hoping to double. Hmm. Three, seven, nine. Belmont uh, starting down the left side, a good solid arm swing, but uh, as I sit here talking to uh, Darren Hayes here in a second, he said the right hand lane is a little bit tighter. You see Belmont going through, pulls up on the shot a little bit, leaves the three, seven, nine, a difficult split at best. and open. We've not seen that split, believe me. Okay, Bo. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Darren, uh, pretty solid performance. You hit the pocket a lot of times, and uh, all week long, normally that would be a, a winning game. Yeah, I thought uh, the 201 game that I bowled would have uh, had a legitimate shot of winning because the scores have really been low this week, and uh, if I'd have said, give me 201 to start with, uh, I may have taken it. Well, it might win a lot of the other games, but you had a great performance, and good luck in your future tournaments. Back to you, Chris. All right. Nice comeback by Bob Belmont. He's on the left lane that time. He's bowling Tim Chris, who won the first game over Darren Hayes, 266 to 201. Winner of this game will meet Walter Ray Williams Jr. So now it's a two and a sleeper eight. Do something to the ball. Okay, we heard him whispering himself, do something to the ball. That means he just kind of babied it. And once again, you don't get the proper performance and it doesn't behave well going down that 60 feet. And it doesn't finish as you look at his grip. He leaves the two eight spare by no means a gimme. Okay, a spare in the third for Tim Chris. As we look at Tim Chris, uh, I had a three years where I basically laid off pro bowling and bowled a couple of weeks, Chris, and I, I put him in a category with our tournament leader, Steve Jaros, and Tommy Dilutz as the most improved over the last three years. These players came from average pros to bona fide stars. Jaros has been in the winner's circle, Chris, and Dilutz will be there shortly. Crossover, but yeah, leaving uh, that's a good the Okay, inside your target line, accuracy is the primary thing. And doesn't pay the maximum penalty, but once again, doesn't have a chance for a strike. A 
Well, as we go to break, let's take a look at this week's historical flashback. Ready to uh, bowl in the right lane. He's trailing by nine. He can take a one pin lead with a strike. A two. Belmont a little bit high on the right hand lane. He sends it wide and hooks high. He gets a great break. Could have had the two seven baby split. A simple spare by Belmont, and he will trail in the match by 10. All right. Back to Bo. Thank you, Chris. With me, the number one player in the world, Walter Ray Williams, Jr., but uh, you haven't been up to that uh, moniker the last uh, couple of weeks. What's been the problem? Then you've turned around really here, though. Um, I'm not really sure, but uh, I got a horseshoe tournament I was supposed to go to tomorrow in uh, St. Louis with some good players, and so I practiced a little bit this week, and I guess I got my bowling in shape. So the arm swing's similar, huh? Uh, very similar. I need to be accurate this week, and uh, normally I'm going to be accurate in horseshoes. <laughs> well, it's not the first time it's happened to you. Let's see if you can come away with a win today. Back to you, Chris. Six-time world champion. Not getting any breaks, Bob Belmont, who bowls usually extremely well on tough conditions. But he has a seven pin on the left lane. Was 18 and six in match play. He's ranked 72nd by the PBA, while his opponent is ranked eighth. It's a close match in our second. The first was not as Tim Chris hold the 266, 11 strikes to Darren Hayes, 201. Here's Chris. That's better. That's better. Yeah. 